Hi guys, Chris again. So in this video, what we're going over is AMD FX. So first of all, don't buy AMD FX. Just, just don't. Uh, so what this is, is this is what Ry or not Ryzen, this is what AMD was selling before Ryzen. So I think up until around 2016, 2017, I think first gen Ryzen was like 2017-ish. Um, this particular one is a Asus M5A97. This is a fairly generic uh, uh, 970, I believe FX 970 chipset board. Um, this was kind of the, the mid-level board that they sold. Um, now, for those of you who don't know what you're looking at, it's a fairly modern looking board. You, you could confuse this for, for a, you know, a, a newer board. It's got your, you got USB 3 on the front. It's colorful. Um, it's, it's an older board if you know what you're looking at, but you, you could confuse it if you didn't know. Um, so these were sold really probably they were maybe useful towards the beginning, maybe like 2012, 2013. Uh, this particular chip is an FX 8320. Uh, the 8000 series FX chips were eight core, at least in theory, eight core. Um, I think there was some stuff that came out later. They were kind of fake eight cores, but whatever. We'll call them eight core. Um, but these, my understanding was that these chips were somewhere performance wise in the neighborhood of something like a Core i5 2500K. I think the absolute fastest ones that used a ton of power, I think like the 9590, I think was maybe in line with like a 3770K, but that was Intel circa 20, 2012. So by 20, 2014, 2015, these were just so far behind. But the reason I'm doing this video is because I do occasionally see people trying to sell systems like this with like RTX 2070s and stuff in them. Do not buy this. If you see AMD FX something, 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 do not buy this. The only thing that I would tell you to buy this for is if you're a collector like me and you want to have this on hand just because it was a thing. And I'm not disparaging anyone that's still using FX. I'm sure some of you are. Um, but I don't pay money for it. I, I guess that's why I'm saying don't pay money for it. Um, it's, it's just, it's not going to pair well with, it's nothing you can really use it for. Not to mention, you can usually find like an i7 4790K that'll blow it out of the water for between free and 50 bucks for a board chip and RAM combo. But anyway, I hope you guys find this quick look at AMD FX useful and thanks for watching.